This screencast video will show you how to make short lecture videos, instructional videos and other types of videos for your students that they can play back in their own time asynchronously. We're going to do this using the Zoom video conferencing platform. Although Zoom is intended for things like online meetings and virtual classrooms, you can use it to record videos, essentially by placing yourself in a Zoom meeting all on your own, recording the session and talking to yourself. Afterwards, you'll have a video recording that you can then share with your students on loop, for example. So we can see on my screen here, I have a PowerPoint presentation open and I'm going to use Zoom to record a brief lecture video for my students. My PowerPoint is open and I have the Zoom app already installed on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and open that Zoom app. So on my Mac, I'm going to go to my launch pad to find the app. But if you're using Windows, you will probably go to the start menu and find the app from in there. When I open the app, I click new meeting. and I'm going to join with my computer audio. So we can see now by default, I'm in the Zoom meeting on my own. My microphone is turned on because I can see the sound levels rising in the bottom left corner, and my video is also on. You may or may not want to show your own face during your video recording for your students. And if you don't want to do that, you can of course just click stop video. And then in the video recording, students will not see your own face. Next, I'm going to share my screen by clicking the big green share button down the bottom. And I can share either my entire desktop or I can share a particular app on my computer. So we can see Microsoft PowerPoint is open and I'm going to select that and click share. So the Zoom menu has now minimized into a small black toolbar, which for me is floating down the bottom of my screen, but for you it may float at the top of your screen. I can also see there's a big green border around my Microsoft PowerPoint, and that means that Zoom is capturing the PowerPoint window. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to start presenting my slideshow. And with everything set up, I'm going to go ahead and click record. So on my Zoom toolbar, click more, and then click record to the cloud. Welcome to this lecture video on technology enhanced assessment. I'm your lecturer, Rob Lowney. Thanks for taking the time to watch this in your own time back on loop. Here are some key words associated with assessment. Take a moment to read them. Technology enhanced assessment is something that has been around for a very long time, as you can see from this selection of images on my lecture video. You get the point, just keep moving through your slides and speaking over them as you would normally do in a lecture theatre. If you make any mistakes, if you fluff your words or mispronounce something, just correct yourself in the moment. Don't get too hung up on production values or on getting everything absolutely perfect. Just as if you were delivering this live in a lecture theatre, you'll make some mistakes or you'll go and ad lib and that's also perfectly fine. When you're ready to stop the recording, just move down to the Zoom toolbar and click more, and then click stop recording. Then click stop share, and click end meeting. Moving back into our PowerPoint, I'm going to end that show. So that recording will now start processing and will be available in my Zoom account in a short amount of time. I will of course receive an email notification to tell me that that video recording is available in my Zoom account. But what if you want to switch between slides and showing websites in a video recording? Well, to do that, instead of sharing just a PowerPoint window, you should share your entire desktop. So I'll show you how to do that now. Again, going into Zoom, starting a new meeting. We'll join with computer audio and this time I'm going to leave my video on during this video recording. So again as before click the green share button and this time because I'm going to be jumping between PowerPoint and a web browser I'm going to choose to share my entire desktop. 
You should take care when you are sharing your entire desktop to make sure that there is nothing open on your desktop that you wouldn't want students to see. Now looking at my screen, I can see this big green border around my entire window, so that means Zoom is capturing my whole screen. My own little thumbnail video is in the top corner, and I can of course see my small Zoom toolbar down the bottom. So as I move through various different windows on my laptop, Zoom will capture them all in a recording. So to start a recording, click More, Record to the Cloud. We're now recording. And I can, for example, bring up my PowerPoint and talk through that. Or I can go into my Google Chrome browser and show a web page and talk about this web page. I can pull up a news article and talk about a news article. Because Zoom is recording the entire desktop, anything I open, anything I show, anything I display will be captured as part of the video recording. Again, as before, when I'm ready to stop, I just click more and then stop recording. Then I can click stop share. And then I can click end meeting. In my Zoom account on the web is where I'll find my recordings. And I can access that by going to zoom.us and logging in using my DCU Google account. It does take some time for recordings to come through. You can see there my first recording with just the PowerPoint has come through already. And my second recording with the PowerPoint and website is still processing. So if I want to share this recording with my students, I just find the one that I want and I go over and I click share and then I copy this link to the meeting recording by highlighting it and clicking copy. And then I can go to my loop page and I can create a URL on my loop page and add the link in there and then students will be able to access the video recording.